and I've also been trying to like take different vitamins and supplements and I've really been on my probiotics so my stomach has actually been handling stuff very very well. Good morning, starting this vlog off with a grocery haul. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got some bread over here. These are the typical meats that I get. I get chicken breast and then I do get a flank steak. Um, I like to broil this with vegetables and then I like to make um, several different dishes with the chicken breast as well, which I've mentioned a lot of times in the past, but mostly my lemon chicken, which I love. In here we have the bell peppers, which you can just, if you watch my vlogs or my hauls, you know that I get these all the time. And then I also have a lemon in here as well. That's for the lemon chicken. Something new you don't really see too, too often on my hauls are grapes. Um, the reason for that is I just, my stomach isn't like a huge, huge fan of them, but I want to be making more snacks like finger food type snacks that are just easy to whip up and, and go. So I decided to go ahead and get some grapes. And I've also been trying to like take different vitamins and supplements and I've really been on my probiotics. So my stomach has actually been handling stuff very, very well. And I think I mentioned once that I thought I was gluten, like had gluten issues, but since I started taking my probiotics, I don't have the same effect. I just don't think that I had a very good gut system, but not to like further dive into all of that. But anyways, um, I ordered more bananas than this, so I'm not sure why this is what I got. Bananas is one of those tricky things where, I mean, just fruit in general, you know, I sometimes I roll the dice and let Walmart pick it out for the Walmart grocery pickup, but I decided to let them pick out the bananas. We've got strawberries, kiwis. Kiwis have has more vitamin C than oranges, which I find to be like insane, but they're and they're delicious. Um, also, I didn't know that like I think the proper way to eat a kiwi is with a spoon, because like you like dig the whole thing out. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, then we've got broccoli. So this is like basically my favorite vegetable. I, you know, chop up the peppers and, and garlic, and then I toss it in olive oil, salt and pepper, and broil it. So good. Okay, then I got cube cheese. This is part of that snack I was talking about. So I'll make like, I'll grab a couple of grapes, probably some like little things of strawberries, and then I'll cut up these into cubes. This is a lot cheaper to buy it like this than to buy the cheese already cut into you know, pre-cut into cubes. So I got the organic sharp cheddar and then the Colby Monterey Jack cheese. I'm actually not quite sure which one I, I'm gonna like as a cube cheese because I don't eat it that often in that style. So I'm just kind of trying things out. Um, so the next time I buy some more cube cheese, I think you'll see like a different type of cheese. Um, unless I just love those so much, but I'm still gonna like try to try new things. So this was actually a substitute. I wanted the the like baby peppers, the kind that you can just like eat straight up. Um, but this was a substitute. I desperately needed Q-tips, so I got that. And then I got my deodorant. So the thing is, is I didn't even, I this isn't the deodorant, deodorant I picked. So I'm a little worried about it <laughs> because really there's only one deodorant that seems to work on me. So. Um, and the problem with deodorant, you know, is that the whole aluminum thing, it's just, uh, but, okay. Um, then I got some shampoo and conditioner and I decided to keep going with this one. So this is the second time I'm buying this and I really like it. It's the Hask. There's no sulfates, no parabens. The ingredients are pretty good. Um, I think I've also seen like hairstylists recommend this. So... I don't think it's like the top, top, top of the line, but I think it's way better than like Tresemme. Got the shampoo and conditioner. 
And then I did get the mild Rotel. So several things that I that I do with the Rotel. Um, I mean, I cook this with chicken. Um, I cook this with a uh, corn dip, all kinds of different things that I'll use. I got my coffee. I just wanted to have another backup, even though I'm not quite through with the other one. I needed some filters. So I got some filters, ginger ale, uh, barbecue chips, eggs, and then the main event, which I wanted to say, oh, nope, and Aunt Jemima original syrup. I just noticed the label is different. Um, so here's the main event. I got two brand new creamers. So this is the one that I've I started on like a month or so ago. Really like it. My daughter likes it too. It's the caramel macchiato. And what I like about these creamers is I don't have to add any sugar to my coffee. And I am one of those people where I do have to have coffee sweet. Um, we also have white mocha. So I've never tried this one before. Sounds delish. And then we've got sweet cream um, by Cold Stone. So this one I'm kind of not so sure. Um, I thought I had a fourth one. I thought I put cinnamon, cinna, cinna, Cinnabon Delights, they have one for the creamer. But the reason why I say I'm not so sure about the sweet cream is because not too long ago I tried an Italian sweet cream creamer and I did not like it at all. So, um, so I'm gonna give this, this is a different one anyway, so I'm gonna give this a try and see what I think. Um, but the reason why I like to have my coffee so sweet, I think, stems from my childhood when my grandfather and I would read the newspaper. He would give me the cartoon section and he would have coffee, so I would have coffee, but I was a kid and so I like poured a ton of sugar in there, a ton of milk in there, and I would also dunk dinosaur cookies. I don't know if you guys remember those. I think you can still buy them somewhere, I'm not sure but they were everything. So today I'm going to brew a cup and I think I'm going to try, oh, which one should I try? Oh my God. I'm gonna try the, the white chocolate mocha. I'm gonna try this one. Actually, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try both. Why don't I do that? I'll just do like a little taste test and, and see. This is the grocery haul. Up first is going to be the sweet cream. Wow, that's really interesting. It, yeah, it tastes like I added milk and sugar. It doesn't have like a, a cream, like a sweet, like caramel-y thing or obviously it's not caramel so it's not going to have that taste anyway but it doesn't it's really surprising I guess I could say I really like it so for the days that maybe I just want my coffee to just taste like coffee like I added my milk and sugar that's what this tastes like all right let's go in for the white mocha this is a no for me but I don't want that to steer you guys from trying your flavors okay um, I've never really got gotten into the white mocha anyway from Starbucks so I'm gonna throw that out there my daughter has so I'm gonna keep this um, for her but it just yeah I think I think the chocolate with coffee is just not a combination that I've ever liked. Good morning. I'm making myself some coffee and today is going to be a pretty big day here at home because I'm getting three deliveries today for furniture. The first one that I think is about to show up in a few minutes, the one that's about to show up in a few minutes, I think is the chair to the library. Also, I'm wearing my retainer, so that's why I sound a little off right now. 
I've also been cleaning the kitchen. I cooked dinner last night and I'm telling y'all <laughs> straight up, I did not clean my kitchen. Um, so I'm doing that directly this morning, but I am getting the chair, I'm getting the dresser to my office and I'm getting my office chair. So I actually have no idea if the dresser is already gonna be put together. I kind of hope it is, but, and I'm sure that if I looked on the order, it, it would say assembly required or whatever. Um, but it, I guess I didn't look because it didn't matter to me one way or the other. I really liked the dresser and I put, you know, furniture together. I, I'm kind of hoping it's at least semi put together, but I guess we're gonna find out today. So very exciting. That means my office is coming along at a really good quick pace. Um, unfortunately, when I do my office reveal, it's going to have the desk that's yellow. So, but um, once the new desk comes in, I'll probably do like an updated tour or whatnot. But um, I need to get the piece that goes here. All right, I just heard the truck. So they're here to deliver. As you can see over here, I put the gate up to block Loxy from coming out. Usually when somebody comes over and it's a stroll. delivery down. Got the second package and the third package has arrived. So this is my office chair. I'm going to be putting this together immediately. The first thing I'm going to do this is the dresser that does require assembly and then this piece is the chair which honestly quite quite frankly surprised me i didn't expect for it to kind of come in this packaging so this definitely looks like i have to add two pieces together the, the back of the chair and then the the sitting part of the chair and then that piece is the the slip cover yeah they don't come automatically on like that piece came together as is even though it's also a slip cover but nebraska that's why i love nebraska furniture more honestly everything comes done made the whole thing for you um so this i had to put like this slip cover over the the ottoman so i'm gonna have to do the same thing with the chair from you i don't know what movie this is little italy or something like that i'm watching it on amazon prime i just got back from jogging um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Amazon first and then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna make dinner. So first things first, um, I'm not ignoring the fact that I got a bunch of furniture in today and you guys haven't seen it. I think I'm going to show you guys what the chair looks like, but you're not gonna see much else because the rest of the library, I want it to be a surprise. I did put together my office chair, but you're not gonna see that either because I want that room to be a surprise and it's pr it's pretty close to being there. The third thing is, and right now I'm instantly regretting my run because I've got the chills, which isn't normal. So the body chills, but I started actually feeling it on the way back. Uh, the cold wind was just like going right through me and I was just like goosebumps over and over, but they haven't gone away and that's that's not a normal pattern, but anyway, I digress. And then the third piece is the dresser, which I haven't even started on, so you wouldn't be able to see it anyway, because it's in the box. Um, so, but I am gonna probably start building it tonight, is that, or at least 
start taking things out of the box. But let's get into what I got from Amazon today. There's one more package that I'm supposed to get today and it hasn't arrived yet. And that um, is going to be the curtains for my office. They're just sheer, there's really nothing, anything at all fancy about them other than they're like a white sheer, which is obviously what I was going for or else I wouldn't have ordered them. It's really the way that I'm gonna hang them that's going to be different. And so that leads me into these. These might not actually work. I might be returning these. And it's really hard to explain what I'm going for, but do you see these like little hooks? I try to find like a decorative like wood plaque where they already have these little hooks installed. The problem is there's not very much space between the ceiling and where my crown molding starts in my office. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, they had like coat racks or hook racks. Um, but I, I was faced with two problems. Either A, it was too wide and it wasn't gonna work, or B, they didn't have enough and it was either like too short kind of thing. And I have three windows in my office and they're different sizes or lengths, so it's a whole thing. So in the end, I thought, what if I just do white simple hooks? It's gonna blend in with the wall. You really won't see them because I don't want there to be a tension anyway because there's such a small space between the ceiling and the window that putting anything like a wood plaque there, I just don't think would look very nice. And I really don't, like I said, I don't want there to be any attention that like draws the eye up there. So these might actually work. The other question that I have is for myself is, the reason why I'm questioning if these will work is how far it extends out. See, that's only about like an inch or so because the crown molding sticks out pretty far. So that means that if I hook the curtains onto these, it'll kind of like, anyways. So, and then also the other problem is I'll have to single hand, like make sure they're all even, which won't be that hard. I'll just use painter's tape, but it's gonna be such a pain but it could turn out to be really beautiful. So if these don't work, I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's and see if I can find basically the same exact thing, but where like the hook comes out a little bit further. And ta-da! And I've been thinking a lot about patterns and colors and things that um, I wanna share with you guys on my main channel. And I decided I'm actually gonna do this buffalo check. I got this one and this one. They came in a pack together. I think it was about $12. As you can see, it's just the pillow cover, which works out nicely for me because it keeps my storage of how many pillows I actually have down and I just switch out the covers. Those are gonna be my Easter spring colors. Checkered gingham, the black, the burlap, the carrot orange, green, and then I think little tiny hints of yellow. And then, you know me, I got some solid orange pillow covers. I always have to do something solid of some sort because I don't use patterns and stuff very often. I just don't because I don't feel like I'm good at it. So I go safe and I go solid. I actually have the same exact pillow cover in the red that I bought for Christmas and I'm reusing them again for, you can kind of see it right there. I'm using it again for Valentine's Day. So I really like them because they're really soft. It's nice to lay on. So I decided, wow, they have this gorgeous orange color. So, ta-da! All right, so here is the love seat. This is what I got from Nebraska Furniture Mart. It's a slip cover. So essentially I could, um, get a different slip cover but i haven't found the one for this sofa i've looked and looked and i haven't found it haven't found it in any shades but it's it's like a beige whereas this is a stark white so from this view you can definitely see they're not at all the same shade and i wanted the furniture to be the same um so eventually this is going to be put somewhere else or I really haven't quite gotten that far on this, but ta-da! Oh my gosh, is she not gorgeous? This chair is absolutely 
everything. So this is going to be like my reading chair and I basically want to get another one and then they'll be the two and they're, they'll kind of like face each other. Um, there's really, I mean, it's a huge piece of furniture. It doesn't look like it, but it's massive. Like two people, two adults, two adults could sit there. I just took a shower. We've got Loxie laying right there. Her vet appointment is tomorrow, by the way. But yeah, I just took a shower. I don't know why I keep getting these like goosebump chills like all along my forehead, kind of all over my my body actually, <laughs> pretty much head to toe. So I took a hot shower and then I've got this on. I need to put socks on, but I do have like a long sleeve. You can see it's there too. So just kind of double doubling up just to keep me warm. I cranked up the heat a little bit as well. Um, hopefully, that will subside, but I was sweating. I was jogging in the cold. I don't know if that turned into a thing. Um, this was not a hair washing day. So I just threw it up and just washed my body. But anyways, I'm gonna make dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna make it on camera or not, but that's what I'm about to do.